Hello and welcome to another Standard Games video. Today we're taking a look at a white, blue and red, or just sky colored widespread thieving, arcane bombardment and hit the mother load deck. So this is a pretty spicy one and uh, the reasoning behind some of the card choices is that the Boros Convoke deck is very popular on the rank ladder. So we're going to want to build a deck with plenty of sweepers and a bit of life gain as well to keep up against those aggressive decks. And we've got 10 sweepers total in this deck to try and keep the board clear until we can get to our powerful late game. We've got Brotherhood's End dealing 3 to each creature and each planeswalker. We've got Ill-Timed Explosion which requires us to discard a card to deal X damage to each creature, where X is the greatest mana value among cards discarded, but even against control we can just use this as a 4 mana draw 2, which isn't too bad. And then Hit to Mother Load is also a card we sometimes actively want in our graveyard, so being able to discard it with Ill-Timed Explosion is perfect, and then it also counts as a 7 mana card to deal 7 damage to each creature, so that also lines up quite well. And then we also have two copies of Burn Down the House, which can deal 5 to each creature and each Planeswalker, also part of the reason why we don't have any Planeswalkers like Chandra in our deck since it would likely end up dying to our own sweepers like Brotherhood's End and Burn Down the House. And then in the late game, if we exile Burn Down the House with Arcane Bombardment, we can also start making Devil Tokens to actually close out the game. So once we have the board under control, we can leverage Arcane Bombardment to take over. This 6-man enchantment says whenever we cast our first instant or sorcery spell each turn, exile an instant or sorcery card at a random from our graveyard, and then copy each card exiled with Arcane Bombardment, and we may cast any number of those copies without paying their mana costs. So it also tracks all the previously exiled cards with Bombardment, so that can quickly add up, especially if we can cast an instant during the opponent's turn to enable Bombardment both in our turn and then once again during the opponent's turn to keep casting all of those spells for free. And then of course we're hoping to exile Hit the Mother Load with our Arcane Bombardment to cast it for free, letting us discover 10, meaning we exile cards from the top of our library until we exile a non-land card with mana value 10 or less, and then we either cast it for free right away or we can put it in hand if we don't want to cast it. And then if the discovered card's mana value is less than 10, which will be the case, create a number of tapped treasure tokens equal to the difference. So we'll end up with a bunch of extra mana that we can spend next turn to keep going with our arcane bombardment and then both cast spells in our turn as well as the opponent's turn to hopefully keep exiling more and more spells. And then eventually how do we close out the game? Well we can exile a lightning helix with arcane bombardment. So now whenever we cast a spell to enable bombardment we get to deal 3 to the opponent and gain 3, so that can also pretty quickly close out the game. And then as we mentioned we can also back it up with additional devil tokens from Burn Down the House, which can also start attacking, and if they die they still deal 1 damage on the way out, so we can sometimes even cast our own board wipe to close out the game once we have enough devil tokens in play. So that's our general strategy. And then Widespread Thieving also ties everything together quite nicely. Hideaway 5 means we get to exile one of the top 5 cards of our library when it enters, hopefully finding Arcane Bombardment or Hit to Mother Load. And then now whenever we cast a multicolored spell, we create a treasure token. We've got 12 multicolored spells in the deck. One of them has flashback, so it can potentially enable Widespread Thieving twice. And then of course whenever we cast a multicolored spell for free using Arcane Bombardment, it can also enable Widespread Thieving, making more and more treasure tokens, which in turn makes it easier to cast more spells, so it kind of feeds itself. And then at some point we can pay one of each color. If we do, we may play the exiled card without paying its mana costs. So if we enable thieving, make a treasure, we can then use that treasure, plus maybe three of our lands and a second treasure token to hopefully cast a free arcane bombardment or hit the mother load, which can then easily kind of pay for the mana we spent on it in the first place. And then we've got even more treasure makers with big score, which can also help enable widespread thieving. This discards a card to draw two and make two treasure tokens, so that can also be used to ramp out our arcane bombardment and hit the mother load. We also want to cast bombardment with enough mana to enable it the same turn we cast it, so that's also where the treasure tokens come in handy. And then we've got plenty of ways to discard Hit to Mother Load if we don't want to cast it and hopefully get it for free with Arcane Bombardment between the Ill-Timed Explosion, Big Score, and then Faithful Mending as another multicolored card. So this can gain two, draw two, and then discard two. It is technically card disadvantage, but it also has flashback. So if we maybe discard Mending to a different discard effect, we can still kind of reap the rewards out of the graveyard. And then it's both a multicolored spell to enable widespread thieving, as well as a relatively cheap instant to maybe enable Arcane Bombardment 
during the opponent's turn, so it kind of does everything we need. And then Lightning Helix is great interaction early, and eventually also one of our finishers, so that should cover all of our cards here. And then a mana base also gets to play with a new Surveil Lands, which have pretty good synergy with Arcane Bombardment, since we could play a card like Thundering Falls, Surveil hit the Motherload into the graveyard, and then now it's ready to be cast for free with Arcane Bombardment if we can enable it. And then I'm not playing any of the creature lands, since I want to avoid more tap lands if possible. Plus the opponent might also have some removal stranded in hand that they aren't able to use until we present a creature. And of course we don't really mind if they take out a devil token, but a creature land would be more annoying. So there's really no benefit. And then we've got a mix of pain lands to cast our two drops on curve, and then the Innistrad duels which come into play untapped later. And then the channel lands offer a bit more utility as well. So those are always nice to have. I also tried out a copy of Get Lost to have a main deck answer to enchantment, although I did end up cutting it after a while for a second burn down the house, just to give us an extra finisher, since it does take us a while to close out games, even if we get the arcane bombardment going and we have no chance of getting overrun by creatures, we still actually need to exile burn down the house or lightning helix to close out the game, and we also draw quite a few cards to enable arcane bombardment, so there's always the risk of decking, so actually having more finishers can help out. Out. You could of course add some other finishers to the deck, I'm sure you can find some great examples. There's uh, more burn spells that maybe deal 10 damage right away, so those are always fun, but of course they don't help you in the initial setup, whereas most of the other cards do. So yeah, that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the draw with a keepable hand. Can Mending on 2, and Brother it's End on 3 if needed. And if we're up against a more controlling deck, we can discard our sweepers. Cavern naming vampires, so it could be Boros Convoke. So Brother's End should be pretty effective. Play Parlor, find Bombardment, which I'm happy to draw. And our opponent might have some reinforcements end of turn. That's fine. Keep up mending. And then next turn we can wipe the board if needed. And then what to discard with Mending? Discarding another one is always good value since we can flash one back. And then we'll see what else. Probably want to hang on to all my sweepers. Main phase reinforcements points towards a Convoked Knight Errant, which will unfortunately resolve. And then the 4-4 doesn't die to our Brother's End. But we should still set them back enough here where I'm going to be in a pretty decent position going forward. Another Knight Errant's going to be harder to cast for them once we deal with all the 1-1s. One okay, so Ill-Timed Explosion is good too. Maybe Burn Down the House can go uh, so we can next turn wipe the board again to deal with the Knight Errant's. And then Mending and keep the big score. Could also ditch big score and then just keep all the sweepers, which may also work out. So three mana sweeper, four mana sweeper, five mana sweeper. Now we're not really progressing our own game plan in the meantime, other than hitting our land drops. But that's where the arcane bombardment can hopefully help us out. So opponent can sack a clue to draw. Yeah, I mean, I could wait another turn on Burn Down the House, and then for now just Flashback Mending, or we can just Ill-Timed Explosion, discarding maybe Burn Down the House, and take it from there. Both are reasonable. Yeah, let's cast the Explosion now. See what we draw into. Alright, Widespread Thieving pairs well with Helix next turn. So yeah, let's discard Burn Down the House. So we can play Thieving, play Helix, make a treasure, and then it should be easy enough to cast Arcane Bombardment. A Warden also a good target for Lightning Helix, and a War Leader's Call. Okay, perfect. And we find Hit to Mother Load since we already have Bombardments. And Ill-Timed Explosion can enable the Thieving as well. Now, of course, I won't have the mana to both cast Explosion and pay the 5-colored mana. 
But that's also where Faithful Mending can come in handy. So for now, I think just play Bombardments. And then next turn we'll be able to cast a spell in my turn and once again during the opponent's turn to take over. So all is going according to plan. Our opponent with another Knight Errant, although it can only find one drops. They still found two, Inspector and another Frontliner. Okay, so how do we want to proceed here? Probably cast Ill-Timed Explosion now. Uh, let's see, I would get a Treasure. I guess then I can cast Hit to Mother Load. So maybe we prefer Helix now. Then I can cast my free Hit to Mother Load. And then... I guess I won't have the mana to enable Bombardment during the opponent's turn once again. But uh, this can be a bad starting point. Take out the Inspector. Yeah, I guess I would need to hit some more multicolored spells to enable Mending in the opponent's turn. And this is fine. We'll probably hit something useful here. Alright, a big score. So now we'll have the treasure to flashback mending in the opponent's turn to enable bombardment once again. And we hit an ill-timed explosion anyway, which also triggers widespread thieving, makes a treasure. And I can discard hit to mother load to just wipe the board. And that's enough for a concession. <laughs> Alright, our opponent has seen enough. And then eventually we can win the game by getting back lightning helix with arcane bombardment over and over and burn the opponent out. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and we've got a Keeper here. Can cast Helix on two, Brotherhood's End on three, so we're good against aggro. Opponent starting with a Swamp. So yeah, big score seems like a nice pickup if we're gonna play a grindier matchup. Getting to ramp into our payoffs seems pretty effective. So opponent blue-black. Keep up Helix for any Flash creatures. Like maybe a Fairy Mastermind, yep. So we'll let that resolve, see if they maybe play Gix, which I would rather deal with. Although we can also maybe take a hit and then cast Brotherhood's End. So we'll see. It's gonna be a Spyglass Siren instead. And then it seems fine to Helix here. Opponent explores. And go for the throw. It's not going to be very good for them, so they wisely put it in the graveyard. Evolved Sleeper. Now we can wipe with Brotherhood's End since we drew another one. Now something like Shieldred could be annoying, although we do have an answer with the ill-timed explosion. It's going to be a Gix instead. Okay, so a couple options. We could... Just cast another Brotherhood's End, keep the ill-timed explosion to answer potential Shieldred. With the explosion, we at least draw a few cards. So we can maybe dig towards something like an Arcane Bombardment. And then I can discard Brotherhood's End to deal with Gix as well. Since we have another one, I think that's fine. It's a bit more mana efficient. So Brotherhood's End can go, and maybe a second one. Keep hit the mother load as something expensive to discard to the second explosion or something to ramp into with big score. So next turn we can play the parlor and then maybe instant speed big score. If the coast is clear, maybe play around a counter spell and uh, play it right away. Opponent sees another evolved sleeper, not good enough, and burn down the house. That's also a clean answer to a potential shieldred. So maybe start with Parlor to Surveil, see what's on top. Faithful Mending, glad to put in the graveyard since we can always flash it back. And then, yeah, I guess we big score now. Discarding, I want to say, Ill-Timed Explosion. That way I can cast Hit to Mother Load and Burn Down the House is still an answer to Shieldred, which they might have in hand, just missing the fourth line drop. Alright, we've got uh, two more in hand now. 
can always discard them to the Faithful Mending if we don't get to cast all of them. Take two. Opponent passes. So if they're going to keep up a bunch of mana for potential counter, I think we sit on Big Score and Faithful Mending instead of tapping out for a 7-drop. So I'll uh, pass it back. Could also Flashback Mending now, but then I don't want to waste my treasures on Big Score, so I'll pass. If they flash in another Mastermind, they can also punish the card draw. So I'll take two. That's not gonna really change. And then end of turn, I'll big score again, discarding hit to Mother Load, and see what their response is. Could you see Mastermind? Nope, our tie to counter it. Okay, now we can resolve hit to Mother Load in our turn. without needing to waste too many treasures. Hoping for a bombardment. It's gonna be a mending instead. So we did get a lot of treasures at least, and uh, probably don't need all these lanes. Okay, so it's just uh, waiting for a bombardment to show up. Once in play, given that they've already played Otawara, I don't expect too many answers. But they can, of course, try and counter it. Okay, so how do we want to proceed? Can try to hit the Mother Load again. Most of their counter spells outside of Ertai, which they currently cannot cast, are conditional in nature, so we can just pay for them. So we'll probably start there. And then, sure, I'll play my land out. Even though we could hit another big score, and then we'll need to discard an actual spell. Hit an ill-timed explosion. Discarding Helix to deal two to everything is enough here. And we find a widespread thieving as well. So we can cast a thieving. And then with double mending we can enable it pretty easily. See if we can hit a bombardment. No bombardment, so I'll grab the helix and then pass it back. So we have to be getting pretty close to arcane bombardment since we've seen a pretty big chunk of our deck. It does take us a while to actually close out the game. So that's potentially a concern if Bombardment is one of our last draws. So now start with Mending. Not gonna cast a free Helix just yet. Another Explosion. Can use it to just draw two. So they might have another airtime hand now to counter a potential bombardment if we find it. Okay, decline. And then, yeah, I guess we cast bombardment now. Or I can just wait and cast it next turn. Maybe your opponent goes shield down on airtime. If they play something like a deep cavern bat, we can easily take it out with helix. Our opponent goes for gix. So now we don't need to worry about airtime at least. And then we also haven't cast our first instant or sorcery yet, so we can immediately enable the bombardment if we'd like. I'm thinking cast hit to mother load right now, and then helix in the opponent's turn as a cheap instant. That resolves. And then exiling a lightning helix helps us close out the game a little faster. Got faithful mending instead. Not the best hit. So do we want to cast our free helix? I mean, I guess I could, although maybe we'll still sandbag it for later. And discard two lanes. The 24 cards remaining, so we're not in danger of decking quite yet. Cast big score, discarding burn down the house, or we can keep it for potential shieldreds. Yeah, let's just put it in hand. That's the upside of discover at least. So we'll pass a turn. Helix at the ready. 
And then now that we exile the multicolor spell with Bombardment, we're not going to struggle to enable the thieving, which will keep generating more and more treasure. So I could pay five mana right now, or I could wait until next turn. Put on channels Abandon Mire, which can get back our tie. We saw Shieldroot go by as well. Fairy Mastermind can maybe draw them some cards. Can okay, I to Mother Load, and we can decline on the Mending if we don't want to enable their Mastermind for them. And especially for main concern is getting milled out. Then we don't need to cast too many more card draw spells. We hit an arcane bombardment once again. Okay. So now it's just a matter of getting a lightning helix underneath arcane bombardment. If I start with big score, our opponent can cast a mastermind in response. Yeah, I guess that's okay. Big score discarding big score. Could also discard burn down the house in the hopes of exiling it with bombardment. But uh, I'll play it safe and keep it in hand. And then we hit another big score here as well. So we'll start with hit the mother load. And then mending if I want to cast my thieving cards is also needed. And uh, we'll decline the big score to keep burn down the house in hand. Pay the five. Get another bombardment. And then we can pay the 5 again. Now the second bombardment is not going to trigger this turn. But we should be able to get it going next turn with our first bombardment. So. Don't need get lost. And can put that one in hand. Time for Mastermind. Yep. And that's okay. Could just uh, deal with it now. Pass it back, and then now with Mending we can enable a Bombardment in the opponent's turn once again. And then hopefully hits Lightning Helix. There's a few in the graveyard now. Opponent keeps Preacher on top. End of turn, Mending. And what do we hit? Ill-timed Explosion. And decline here. And then we'll hit the mother load. I don't think I need to cast anything else. And a widespread thieving. I guess I'll cast here. And uh, nothing I really want. So, not too many cards left in the deck, which is a little bit of a concern. But we should hit a Helix soon enough. And maybe I'll burn down the house and start making Devils. I've got enough of a life total buffer that Shieldred's not a major concern. Opponent's going to use Tidebinder now. Cannot counter enchantments, but it can counter the trigger from Bombardment. So we're not going to get our free spells from it this turn, but at least it's not shut down permanently. And then Ill-Timed Explosion, do we even want to cast that here? 
Um, I think we decline. And then we can still attack with our devils if we'd like. And then I'll maybe cast Mending in the opponent's turn to enable Bombardment once again. Preacher's fine. Alright, so a bunch more triggers. Would be better if the card draw from Mending were optional. Alright, Brotherhood's End doesn't really do us too many favors here. So, I mean, I guess we'll cast it just to deal with Preacher. Decline on the explosions. Bone's gonna make disappear. Sure, I'll just pay for it. Got plenty of mana. So that's not a concern. So get to finish off the Preacher, and one goes upstairs. And still nothing too exciting off our Bombardment. So I think we decline to cast anything. Found two more Bombardments, so we can cast both of those. And then we need to keep Mending as something we can actually cast to enable them. Five cards left. Yeah, it's getting kind of close here. Never in doubt that we could uh, take over the game, but now it's a bit of a concern if we can actually finish it out in time. So get a bunch more triggers. Brotherhood's ends decline. There we go, Lightning Helix. Bones at 6, and nothing too interesting here, and burn down the house can make devils. Alright, and then next turn we should be able to close it out by uh, flashing back Mending. I guess another Tide Binder could maybe get in the way, but we also have some devils that can keep attacking. Go for a throw at one of them. I guess we can just flash back Mending now as well if we'd like. And our opponent scoops it up. Alright, so took all four bombardments to get there in the end. But uh, yeah, fun game nonetheless. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. And we've got what looks like a Keeper. Just need to find a discard outlet for hit to mother load. And with two surveil lanes, we get to dig pretty deep. And there's one of them. Okay, and then now finding arcane bombardment is going to be pretty key. Up against a red aggro. So we could just uh, lightning helix the swift spear, but we'll see what else they present. Blazing crescendo, that seems worth intervening. As now they also lose out on the extra card they would normally exile. Okay. Can play another Surveil Land before casting Mending if we'd prefer. And Sundown Pass seems like an okay draw still. Picnic Ruiners next. So our opponent's playing more of the Pump Spell build as opposed to the more typical Mono Red Aggro with Burn Spells. So we just need to make sure we have enough interaction to stay alive. Another Mending. Prefer flashing one back now. Also have some channel lines we can put to use if needed. And case of the Crimson Pulse. Okay. Opponent gets to discard and draw. I 
and then channeling Igantra here could be worth it since there's no risk of a pump spell saving it in response. Which may not be true next turn. So maybe main phase flashback mending in case we draw into a tapped land. Alright, and then I think I'm down to discard another and a land. Means I won't be able to cast it right now, but we're also not too far from casting hit to mother load now. Still at 23, make that 22 now. And a widespread thieving was a good draw, since we can immediately make a treasure with the mending as well. And found arcane bombardments. Okay. So I may not want to flashback mending now, because if I do. I don't have the mana to pay for thieving. And next turn we can just hit to mother load if we'd like. Could cast another thieving as well, so no lack of options. But let's start here. We'll get some treasures, which we can then put to use. And this can just draw two cards. Okay, so we're in a pretty good spot here. Bone's got three cards in hand, so they can deal quite a bit of damage potentially with her pump spells. Double crescendo finds a code breaker, which can quickly draw them a fresh hand. So what's our ideal sequencing? I'm gonna need to cast a multicolor spell to enable thieving, and then we want an instant in the opponent's turn to enable the bombardment, since we won't be able to enable it this turn. So maybe start with another thieving, which we'll be able to set up here. Finds another thieving. Ill-timed explosion is also potentially an option. And then cast the explosion, which now also generates two treasure. And then we want to pay for the Bombardment Thieving. And then we'll still have mana to cast our Flashback Mending. And we would like to wipe the board here. Okay. Pass it back. Big score also an option. And then end of turn, yeah, maybe we'll big score. Discarding burn out the house. And then next turn we can mending. And get another thieving in play. Explosion will draw to generate two treasure. And we found lightning helix, which can gain us more life and eventually burn the opponent out once we exile it with our bombardment. And our opponent has seen enough. Awesome, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play with a fine hand. Got some good tools against creature decks, even though I can't quite cast Helix on turn 2. Bombardment I'll keep. This is blue-white control. We're in for a pretty lengthy game, most likely. So we'll just pass with uh, Mending available. And then we're not going to need our sweepers in this matchup. Want to try and find big score to maybe ramp out our top end cards. Opponents, counters and exiles. So they are tapped out now, but we don't have a great follow up like a big score. Forge will draw, just want to keep hitting our land drops. So, yeah, opponent's got some counter spells. They might have Get Lost to destroy enchantments, which hits our bombardment. So, those are kind of the problem cards we can potentially face. Don't really care about their removal. Deluge is a good one. Don't have any counter spells of our own. Wandering Emperor we can easily handle with Brotherhood's End. So yeah, if I were to tap out for Arcane Bombardments, I don't think it's going to end well for me. 
if I had another untapped land, I would maybe still try it because then we can maybe resolve hit to mother load on the following turn. I think we want to try and tap out for something expensive when they could flash back Deluge potentially, although that's still two turns away. Yeah, let's just play a survey land for now. And then I think I'm okay drawing the forge, although we have land seven in hand already. So maybe we can be more picky. The question is whether we want to get up to 9 mana to pay for no more lies. Opponent's got the Wandering Emperor. So next turn I could brother its ends to see if that can clean things up. And then if they want to fight over Brotherhood's Ends, that's fine by me. Can pay for no more lies. Opponent lets it go. And find an ill-timed explosion, draws us two cards, so that seems acceptable. So yeah, we're getting to the point where we can potentially play Bombardment and pay for a No More Lies. So I guess we'll keep that up. And Jace gonna mill us, okay, that's potentially scary. They're going to immediately mill 15. Okay, at least they're filling the graveyard for bombardment. And then I guess we'll flash back Mending here. It does seem like they have no more lines in hand. So I do need to wait another turn before I try and cast a bombardment. Helix can go... Maybe both of them, just keep all of our lands, and then we have Mending to flash back to enable Bombardments for the first time. Even though Helix can be a decent answer to an Anchorage. So yeah, we need to wait one more turn. And I think I want to keep Mending to enable the Bombardment if it does actually resolve. Now, of course, our opponent can easily let it resolve and then destroy it with Get Lost, for instance. They get to potentially flashback Memory Deluge, so they can dig pretty deep. Our opponent does have the Get Lost, so could still cast a Mending a Response here to at least get a little bit of value. Sadly, Lightning Helix is now going to go away, so we need a different Lightning Helix to try and close out the game. Discard Mending, and do we want to hit the Mother Load or uh, try and cast a Thieving? I think I keep Thieving as another enchantment that they might want to destroy. Could also get rid of Burn Down the House, I guess. Twenty-five cards left, so yeah, Jace is gonna probably kill us here if they have another one, which they do. With ten cards left, I don't know if we have enough cards left in the deck to actually win the game. So we get to untap. Nine cards left, how many bombardments are still in the deck? There might be one. So I need to hit it, and then we need to immediately hit Burnout the House or Lightning Helix, pretty much. So we could hit the Mother Load, or we could cast Thieving, which is more likely to find Bombardments. And then with Mending, I can enable it. Although we're not going to have many cards left in the deck afterwards. I guess we'll give this a try still. Opponent's gonna get lost. 
Sure. So if I flashback mending, there's no exalt card in the first place. I would just get a treasure. And so we don't want to hit the bombardment now. But at least we know it's still there. I guess I could cast it to Motherload, get it countered, and then next turn resolve it. Assuming they have another No More Lies in hand. Which they do. So, eight cards remaining. I have to assume they have a couple sweepers in hand as well. Alright, so... Can hit the mother load right now. And, uh... We'll see what we hit. Lightning Helix. Could have also kept it in hand to enable bombardment in the future, should we draw it. But yeah, I think it's too little too late at this point. Temporary Lockdown deals with all my treasures. Yep, since they entered tanked. And they have a third Jace. Alright, that's game. Yeah, triple Jace is rough. Against a control build with a different finisher, we might have had a chance. But specifically blue-white with Get Lost and Jace. That's just a very bad matchup for us. Alright. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. Our hand's a little slow, admittedly, but with two sweepers we can maybe catch up. If we're up against aggro. Opponent on soldiers. That's an archetype I haven't seen in a while. So Thalia can be expected and that will easily slow us down to a point where we could be in trouble. For now, play the parlor. Looks like they'll play the reinforcements end of turn. And then we don't need another mountain. So it's going to be a sentinel end of turn instead. So they don't have a third creature yet for the officer to draw a card. And our point's stuck on two lanes. Okay, can channel I Ganjo if needed. But probably looking to cast our explosion next turn. Opponent sitting on three mana, so they might be on a build with a bunch of counter spells. So I'll just go for a big score here then. Can take two from Sentinel for a few more turns without issue. So if I big score now and they counter it, then my follow up isn't all that great. I guess we can explosion, but I would really like to resolve bombardment. So maybe I wait another turn on the big score. Nah, I'll cast it now. They may just let it resolve. That opponent's gonna make disappear. Find Faithful Mending. So could cast and flash back. Could also discard it to the ill-timed explosion to deal with Sentinel. And then next turn our opponent needs to probably tap out to add more creatures to the board. And then we resolve Bombardment. Yeah, that seems fine. So I'll cast this now. Discard Mending and a land. And if they don't tap out for a creature, what's our play? Maybe draw with the explosion. Opponent does have Harbin, keeps up two mana. So the coast isn't entirely clear. Yeah, if they counter my bombardment, I'll be pretty sad. Problem now is if they end of turn play reinforcements, and then maybe have another make disappear for the explosion, we could end up dying. We know about the officer. So yeah, I don't think they necessarily have reinforcements in hand since they would have had the opportunity to cast it earlier. So counter spells likely, they could even have the one with kicker that counts the number of creatures in play which they can cast unkicked. So let's play it slow. Keep another big score on top. And then plan to maybe flashback mending. Okay, veteran. Pumps Harbin. 
could also channel Iganjo to take it out. They might flash in a sentinel in response to save it. And then the coast is clear for a bombardment. Sure. That works. And now at least we have a better instant speed play with big score. So I'll pass. I'll replace Harbin. So do we big score now? Maybe discarding ill-timed explosion, key bombardment and burn down. All right, that resolves. So now we've got a bit more mana to work with. Can take two. Question is, do we? Plan to flash back mending? I don't think so. Want to keep my treasure. All right. Now with the second bombardment, it's not a disaster if they counter the first one, and then I have mending to maybe enable it as well. All right. Point's going to make the spears sacking their lord, so that resolves. And then next turn we'll try again. Only taking three, so can still survive this. And the other opponent's gonna run out of uh, counter spells eventually, forcing them to tap out. Siege veteran can leave behind some tokens. But uh, yeah, opponent is kind of shield down now. Unless they have spell peers, which I highly doubt. All right, so we can cast arcane bombardments. And then I can follow that up with Mending or Flashback Mending. Although if I don't hit a uh, Sweeper, then we could be in trouble. I mean, I guess, let's see. Yeah, if I go for Bombardments, Flashback Mending, I'm guaranteed to either hit Ill-Timed Explosion or Big Score, which gives me two mana to then cast Mending in the opponent's turn. So we've got pretty good odds. And this way we also avoid hitting Mending with Arcane Bombardment, which would be less exciting. We hit Big Score, Ditch, I want to say Ill-Timed Explosion. And then Lightning Helix is pretty good too. This card, do I need another Arcane Bombardment? It is insurance in case they can remove the first one, maybe they have a Get Lost in their deck. Not impossible. So maybe do this. Could also discard Mending now that we drew Lightning Helix, so I can first take out Veteran so they don't get the additional Soldier tokens. Yeah, I guess we'll discard Forge plus Mending. And then I can let them untap. And then we'll see where we're at. I guess never mind, the Bombardment would resolve first, so we would first wipe the board with, let's say, an ill-timed Explosion, and then the Helix would fizzle, not gaining us any life. Thalia is annoying, so I probably want a Helix now while I can. And then let's just maybe hit Harbin to keep it simple. And then if I were to hit a big score, we still gain three. If I hit ill-timed explosion, we wipe the board, which is good too. Could also Helix face, but then if we hit big score, I might be disappointed. Plus, it could also maybe have a counter spell for my sweeper, and then at least Lightning Helix deals with Harbin. Right, opponent does make disappear with a Helix, so now we could just hit a sweeper instead. And we hit Lightning Helix, so that's good. Helix Harbin. And big score discarding at this point Odawara. And then Thalia resolves, but we should be in control now. All right, so keep it simple, cast Burn Down the House. And then I can still cast Mending afterwards in the opponent's turn. Now these spells are also taxed by Thalia. So I think I only cast a big score since that kind of pays for itself. We'll 
Although Lightning Helix is somewhat tempting since we can take out veterans so they don't get the leftover tokens. All right, fine. And then decline the explosion. Okay. And then I can still Helix or Mending in the opponent's turn. Enable Bombardment once again. So if they don't have an answer to it, that's a game over. There's already a Helix exiled with it, so shouldn't take long to close out the game. Alright, so I'm glad we got to see a slightly different aggro matchup other than Boros Convoke. But yeah, Soldiers has fallen off recently, since the Boros deck is just kind of faster. But there's still some matchups where you wouldn't mind having a Thalia or some counter spells. Alright, looks like our opponent has disconnected and they explode. Sweet, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw with a keepable hand. Faithful Mending should see quite a few cards. And then uh, we've got a Sweeper in hand already, up against the Boros Convoke, presumably. So, probably want to keep Lightning Helix available on turn 2. So we'll just play a Darker Waste, which gives me the flexibility of either Mending or Helix. Epicure is next, so they won't have the red mana to potentially make some goblin tokens here. Yeah, I think it's worthwhile to just Helix now, take out the Warden, slow them down a little bit. So we don't run into a situation where Warden's too large for us to take it out with a ill-timed explosion if we don't run into something expensive. They've got a backup. But it does start out as a 1-2, and then now they've got uh, Demolition as well. Do they also Convoke a Knight Errant? They do. Alright, so opponents back on the board. Our Sweeper's at 4 mana, so we'll have to wait another turn. But we do have the line for it at least. So, can we survive an attack if they play Recruiter next turn? Should be able to take the hit still. I guess we go for Widespread Thieving, so we'll make a Treasure next turn. And then I can discard Big Score to deal 4 damage to everything, which is hopefully enough. And then hit to Motherload versus Bombardment. Normally I would go for Bombardment as the most important card. Although hit to Motherload does give us a lot of mana, thanks to the treasures which we can then leverage with our Faithful Mending. I think I still go for Bombardment, just to be safe in case we don't draw into it. The upside of Hit to Mother Load is that it potentially has an immediate impact if we cast it and hit a board wipe. Alright, so no Recruiter this turn is good. In case of the Gateway Express, we don't really mind. We'll pump up their team, but not uh, toughness-wise. So cast the Explosion, definitely discarding Big Score here. And then maybe a Mending can go as well. Keep our land drops, can burn out the house next. So we're not in bad shape. Bones got a third warden. It's gonna run out some inspectors as well. And yeah, we're just gonna burn out the house next turn. And then next turn we can maybe help enable Widespread Thieving to get our Bombardment online. If I cast Mending with the extra treasure we can pay 5. Could also get a second Thieving going first, which I don't hate. And then we can flash back Mending still, making two treasures in the process. And then burn down the house is good insurance. Bombardment will keep on top. Okay. And then another mending we can maybe discard to then flash back and enable thieving once again if needed. How many board wipes can our opponent endure? This might be reinforcements end of turn or they're planning to sack their uh, clue token. 
So discard double mending. And then I guess I'm a little bit short of going bombardment flashback mending, which was maybe a reason to hold one in hand. Uh, but we can maybe cast one in exile by flashing back mending. Yeah, that seems fine. So make sure I pay for the right one. So the second thieving. Get our bombardments. And then if I draw into an untapped land here, I can still flashback mending in the opponent's turn. We do not. Okay, um, probably don't need triple bombardments. Maybe discard both or one plus Brotherhood's and keep Explosion as a multicolor spell. And then Big Score is also pretty nice to cast in the opponent's turn if needed. Opponent does have the reinforcements. So if they have a Recruiter we could still be in trouble, especially if they go Gleeful Demolition plus Recruiter. We could still potentially die here, which would be kind of sad. But it's probably their last chance to get something going. Discarding a Knight Errant, apparently not good enough. Four mana. A Recruiter by himself is not good enough. Although they're getting close, down to two. Get to untap Finding the Lightning Helix. All right, should be able to comfortably take over now. Start with Ill-Timed Explosion, and then we can still Helix in the opponent's turn. And this will make some treasure as well. Could also cast Burn Down the House, but... And then we hit another Helix, which can go face. Make more treasure. And then discarding big scores good enough. And then now we even have the mana to play a second Bombardment and then still Helix in their turn. And with a Helix already in exile, I don't think there's too much that can go wrong. Even tempted to just Helix face here, since we can always cast Burn Down the House next turn using Faithful Mending, assuming we don't, I guess, um, exile it with Bombardment, so maybe I should do this now. Flashback. And then Helix can enable Thieving. Hit an explosion, and that's enough for a concession, all right. So yeah, Boris Convoke, definitely a popular matchup, and this deck is kind of tailor-made to beat it. So yeah, if you're tired of losing to Boros Convoke, if you like controlling strategies that have kind of a fun angle, and especially if you're a fan of Arcane Bombardment, I cannot recommend the deck enough. But of course it does have some weaknesses, as we saw against Control. A deck that's packing enchantment removal, counter spells, and mill effect is going to be a tough matchup no matter how we configure our deck. So that's uh, not going to be a very winnable matchup. And I don't think there's many sideboard cards that can really fix it, since it just takes a while for our deck to get its engines going. So mill effects in general are quite good against us. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for today's gameplay. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day.